One of my favorite features in Inkscape is having the ability to create a document and save it as a template that you can launch directly from within Inkscape anytime you want. This is useful because it means you won't have to waste time formatting your document every time you go to create certain types of designs that you may regularly work with, like YouTube thumbnails, channel art, business cards, invoices, and so on. If you go to File, New from Template, you'll see a list of templates that are already formatted for whatever it is you'd like to create. And if you're using Inkscape version 1.0 or later, you can add your templates to this library by going to File, Save Template, and from there you can choose a name along with some other metadata, and whatever it is you're currently working on in Inkscape will be saved to that library as a template that you could launch anytime you'd like. All you have to do is go to File, New from Template, and there it will be. Because of this, I've been able to generate a list of 11 templates for common design items like print-ready business cards and trifold brochures with bleed lines and DPI already accounted for. And in this video, I'll be sharing them with you. And just to be clear, these are not designs. These are just blank templates that you can load into your template library and use to create your own designs. In the description of the video, I'll have a link to where you can download a zip folder with these templates in them. Once you open the folder, you'll see a list of templates, including brochures, business cards, contact icons for business cards, Facebook banners, Google ads, and so on. Like I mentioned earlier, all you have to do is open one of these files with Inkscape, then go to File, Save Template. And if you're using an earlier version of Inkscape that doesn't yet have the Save Template feature, you can simply navigate to C, Program Files, Inkscape, Share, Templates, and copy and paste all of the files into that folder. And the next time you launch Inkscape, you will be able to create a new document based on one of those templates. This method also works for Inkscape version 1.0 if you don't feel like opening each document one by one and saving it, although the pathway is slightly different. For this one, navigate to C, Program Files, Share, Inkscape, Templates. I'll have this information posted in the description as well. One thing I'd like to point out is that some of these templates may be a little confusing when you first open them. Take the brochure template, for example. It has separate layers with boundaries that represent the bleed cutoff line. Another example would be the business card templates. As you may already know, business card sizes differ by country, so I created a master file with every size included. If you're unsure of how this works, then I would recommend checking out the PDF document in the zip folder. It has links to some articles that I've written in the past where I explain how some of these templates work in more detail. Other templates, like the Twitch banner, for example, are more self-explanatory because it's just a document set to a specific width and height. The templates are free to download and use however you'd like, without any need for attribution. I'm releasing them into the public domain, so use them however you want. You can even redistribute them if you'd like. Finally, if you want to learn more about how Inkscape works, be sure to check out my Inkscape course. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over every single tool and feature in Inkscape, and I explain what it is and demonstrate how it works. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check that out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.